This is Montana cattle country, south of the Bear's Paw Mountains. Ranches are huge and reputations hard won. Among these great Montana cattle ranches, the IX Ranch stands tall. Historic and professionally managed, the IX Ranch has built a reputation for producing top quality cattle with an enviable rate of pounds weaned per cow exposed. The holdings are vast, more than 126,000 acres of deeded and leased lands, stretching over 30 miles of rangeland and meadows, rolling hills and steep mountains. In its 126 year history, the IX Ranch has had only two owners. Since the 1960s, the Roth family, now in its third generation, has managed the ranch corporation, propelling the operation to even higher standards through innovation and technology, careful breeding, and strict adherence to sound principles. The strengths of the ranch are its well-balanced assets has range and it also has the forage to provide the wintering nutrition that cattle need in this country. The second greatest asset of this ranch is that the, the people that have helped me run the ranch and they are the reason that we are so successful. The IX Ranch spreads east and south from the town of Big Sandy where the ranch office is located. Its 126,000 acres include 59,809 deeded acres with most of the remainder in state and federal leases. Big Sandy Creek is the largest irrigation source and winds through the IX for 15 miles. Eagle, Birch, and Dog Creeks also flow through the property. US Highway 87 connects the IX Ranch to Great Falls, 87 miles southwest, and Haver, 35 miles northeast. The closest commercial airport is in Great Falls. Haver and Big Sandy both have paved airstrips. The ranch maintains a herd of about 4,300 cattle and goes into winter with 3,000 bred cows and 1,400 coming yearlings plus bulls. The IX Ranch has developed a composite breed that is three quarters British and one quarter continental, typically red and black Angus, Simmental and Gelpfi. The goal is to develop cattle that produce an optimum number of pounds weaned per cow exposed a key measure of productivity that the IX Ranch monitors closely. We like to use composite breeds here. They seem to be the best for the environment that we're in. They are rangy, they have good longevity, and they have good muscling. The cattle are the priority, and it's not what's easiest to do, or the quickest or the fastest, it's what's best for the cattle. The IX Ranch is known throughout the industry for effective management that combines the use of modern metrics and techniques with a reverence for the traditional ranching values. We use a take half, leave half philosophy here on the grass that we've got. We never want to sacrifice the grass for profit or the cattle. You can always replace the cattle, but you can't replace the range. The IX Ranch has four distinct operating units, each with residences, barns, workshops, and corrals. The main residence, built in 1900, has been beautifully remodeled to accommodate seven bedrooms and four bathrooms in 5,128 square feet. A guest house built in 1972 has five bedrooms and three baths. The IX Ranch also has strong agricultural diversity. With a relatively long growing season of 120 days, the irrigated fields generally produce two cuttings of alfalfa hay per season. About 4,300 acres of irrigated hay and grain crops along with another 4,300 acres of dryland crops produce a dependable feed base, as well as income from the sale of winter wheat and other small grains. Elk, deer, and antelope range through the IX Ranch, which is also home to five species of upland birds. The IX brand was first registered in 1877. Ten years later, C.J. McNamara and Thomas Marlowe began assembling the IX Ranch, which stayed in their families for more than 60 years. William and Theodore Lang of the Hams Brewing Company family acquired the IX in 1955. Their ranch managers, Art and Audrey Roth, became partners in the 1960s. Art Roth's son, Steve, and his grandson, Richard, run the ranch today. 
The important things don't change. It's weighing the cattle, it's managing the grasses, it's taking care of the natural resources, and it's getting up the same time every day and shutting the lights off when you're done.